Right, afternoon uh, guys and girls, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, whatever, uh, fellas, YouTubers, YouTubers, Mick being a main brew. Um, not been around for a little while, uh, it's just a quick, hopefully quick video. A uh, couple of apologies, bits and bobs for not being around. I've had a few uh, issues, yeah, just issues work, personal, stuff like that, so uh, not had the time to do anything and brewed two months, so hopefully going to be brewing this Sunday. This is Friday, I'm hopefully going to upload this straight away. You might remember a little while ago, went to the uh, Firebird Brewing Co. Really great people there, picked up quite a few of their beers, they uh, do a nice leaflet, Shows you all their like opening times and everything on the back. Uh, well worth a visit, as I say. Real nice chaps. Picture there the two brewers and obviously their versions of beers. I think and and I can let to believe yet yeah, they're launching their can series as well. Hopefully you lot can see that. So uh, yeah, I picked one of these up. They're in Rudwick, which is uh, West Sussex, Sussex. West Sussex, Redwick, I think it's Sussex, West Sussex, um, yeah, so um, let's pop a beer open, what to do with the beer, been uh, busy all week, so this one is their cloudy wheat beer, coming in at 5%, I know it's not the proper glass, um, should have drunk it a little while ago, um, so yeah, nice. Bottle conditioned, yeah, bottle conditioned. I should have dumped the yeast in, shouldn't I really? But it's a bit cloudy, so let's have a quick swig. Uh, so yeah, quick apologies to Oliver and Chris, Red Dog Brewer, Steve Molson. I have done your beer reviews. Uh, I have uploaded them to the computer. As I say, I've just had a few issues um, the last couple of months, not been able to brew, stuff like that, but we're back on it, got my mind back into it, we've got a, we're back on it. So I'm a well behind, I've got my Porter series I want to do, one of them's going to be a tribute brew for what's happened, uh, and I'll go more into that when we go to do the brew day. Uh, but yeah, uh, so they're the three, four people, three people, four people, yeah, four people, three people, ah, three people. Uh, and I wanted to say a big thank you to Steve Ogden, the heathen brewer, for the um, gift uh, vouchers for the malt miller, which is where I'm going to go tomorrow because they're doing a brew tube sort of brewery thing tomorrow. This is why I wanted to get this up because I thought if you see me there, people might think, oh, we ain't seen him for a long time. Uh, so yeah, that's my apologies and my big thanks for Steve for the, um, the uh, vouchers for his subs competition. So I'm going to use that towards this tribute brew that I'm going to do uh, and hopefully it'll turn out. But yeah, I'm going to do a, a porter series so I've got uh, some ideas uh, for some imperials and some porters. About three or four different styles I want to do. So I'm not going to go into too much of them, but once I start them, as I say, I'm a bit behind, so they might be good for January, February. Not at Christmas like I wanted, but hey -o. These things are sent to try us, and we conquer and achieve. So we've done that. Um, as I say, let me look for. That's very nice, that. Let me have another three. As I say, I, I can't read what it's called. You guys can't see it because of the dodgy what's it. But it's a cloudy wheat beer, and all wheat beer is cloudy. Five point, but see, five percent. Bottle conditioned. Um, that's about it. But yeah, if you're ever in the area, pop in and see them. West, yeah, it is West Sussex. Cracking brewery. I've been to quite a few good ones so far. Got quite a good selection of theirs. Uh, I don't think I'll do a beer review on all of them because I'm a bit shit at beer review. So uh, I might ping a picture and shove it on Facebook 
That's about as much as I know how to do. But yeah, hope all you guys and girls are having good brews, good weekends. Uh, as I say, I will be brewing on Saturday. I'm going to be brewing my black IPA. I'm going to brew it twice, not both on the same day. I did want to do one on a Saturday, one on a Sunday, but because I'm going to this brew thing tomorrow, I've managed to wait another day off work because I'm going to go back to work tonight. Maybe if I can't wangle that one out of there, and I'm going to do that. So I'm doing a black IPA again. I'm going to do it two ways. So there'll be more about that when I do the brew footage. I'm going to do the normal way that I normal brew, and then I'm going to do it by adding the grains, mix and mix, bit more, mix and mixy, bit more, mixy, 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 like the old fart does. And I'm just doing exactly the same black IPA recipe that I normally do. I'm just going to see for myself what the numbers come up as and then I'll know whether just dumping the grains in there, sparging, mixing it in once, sparging and circulating it and everything, whether there's a beneficial difference or it makes any difference for me and doing it the other way. But six minutes has gone. As I said again, big apologies to I want to be Chris, Red Dog, Steve Molson. I have done your beer reviews, I just, just haven't been in the right frame of mind to upload them and put them out there, but um, I'm back on it now, so I'll be putting them up. I think I might have even done all the Red Dogs, I can't remember that, I'm that far behind, but I definitely know that I haven't done the last two from John and Chris, uh, Steve and Chris, and again, big thank you to the Heaven Brewer and the Little Heaven, and I'll check in with you soon. So, oh, and yeah, I know I've been tagged for a couple of questions. I think my top five and a tag from Dave Cheshire Rain Brew, I think. And the drunken one's been badgering me about it. So I will get that done also. And all the best. And I've still been trying to catch up with your videos, even though I haven't been proactive myself. Check in later. Ta-da.